just cost the morning by shed on the spoon. So yeah, let's see. Fishing for bunnies. On our way to Shelley to fish for Khalun again, but I cannot go anywhere without my spinning rod. Um, like a little lure here, look for some quick bunny or quick sneaky other tail, that'd be right, very unlikely. Um, but I see the vet was um, for his first cast, he got a little shad. So we'll just make a few throws here, five, ten minutes, and then we're gonna head through. But we're just gonna try and just have some fun, do something different over. So yeah, let's see. Hopefully we can get a bunny, just a, a random one. See, it doesn't look super fishy, there's no birds working, but there's been quite a few rounds, so yeah, let's check. Oh, lucky okay, yeah. Quick 10 minutes spinning session here. Sea's pretty dead, there's quite a lot of mullets, but there's not, they look too calm, they're a bit too far out. If they were being pushed in, then yeah, it's a sign. But first throw, the vet got a, got a nice little shad, so I guess it's somewhat successful, we weren't really expecting anything, so yeah, but now we're gonna look for some Khalil and cracker at Shelly, that'll be fun. Uh. <laughs> what? 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 So, uh. <laughs> Proper frottes. Very lekker. A sight. This bag is so soft. Oh, back here at Shelly. After a quick spin this morning. Same bed as last time, little red bait. Got the two Okobu XTs. Amazing hooks these, I love them. Simple five ounce sinker. Fishing the 12 ounce, it's actually a two to four ounce rod. But I'm gonna try it with the five, five ounce sinker. <laughs> Just to get a little bit more distance. Can make a first throw, yeah, it looks a bit, a bit rough. I've never actually fished this spot, so I'm just gonna go see. See if anything is biting here. The vet's gone on already to the spot that we're probably gonna be parking off for, for the next few hours. Good job, make the first try to see and then go join the vet now in a few minutes. Crowded. There's so many people here. I don't know why. But these guys next to us have got a nice big khali already. Just gonna see where they're casting. Oh yes. It's not a lot of space. I've never seen this many people here. Let's just get involved. <laughs> Go see if we can also get a fish here amongst them. Otherwise I'll just move on. Find a little spot there along the rocks.
boy was a big one for a sec. Small Uh It's out like a proper big one. Look at this bummer. <laughs> That's so small. I'll show you a small club in there, they're on the bait so far. <laughs> Tiny ones, but hey, first throw, yeah. Like a fishies. Oh, let's see, double up here, hooks are on. Slippery here, though. Yeah. So much fun on the 12 foot rod. Better size, second throw. Two Khalil, not bad. Alright. Baddy, baddy, baddy. So cool. Let's just check our measurement. It's a small leap. Okay, oof. So, 35.5 fork, just under 37 total. Lekka. Ooh, bit of fun. We've got three fish in four throws, so it's not too bad. The vet got absolutely floored. I think it was a nice crackle, maybe a big hugging. But just a word of caution. A spot like this, it's, it's very shallow. You can see if you look now, you can walk all the way out, no problem. And then the sets come and it's suddenly waist deep. So we really had a bit of drama. One of the, the lighties here got washed off the rocks, but he's, he's a trooper, very eager fisherman. So that's good, but just be careful. You know, always keep your eye on the sea and sort of know, know your own limits as well, because the sea is quite a, something to be respected. Anything can happen at any time. No matter how experienced you are, how many years you've been at the sea, you know, things can go wrong very quick sometimes, so... Yeah, but we're gonna keep going and see. See if while are holding here, we're gonna try to catch a few. This is like an octop, an octi. See a cut? You know? I'm gonna put him back. on red bait um, so yeah <laughs> okay so while I did that red bait just cut it open get all the inside of the red bait face out um, make a small circle look you look it through the, the hard part of the red bait yeah. And what I always do is I flip it around so that like the soft sides can be can be outside so that the flavors of the red bait can come out. And what I do is grab a cotton. Very little cotton around. And yeah, the point all I did is was a bit lot 
here somewhere Like a 45, 45 on the 40, and 
49 total. But it's, it's, yo, it's fat. It's a proper, proper fat column, like a healthy. You can see how sharp those spikes are on him as well. If you're not careful. Bream, blacktail, anything. We've been fishing red bait all day, but now just to try something different. Um, the vet got a very nice bronze bream. So we're gonna throw some white mussel and prawn. White mussel is pretty small. Um, it was dug here on the beach. The ones that you buy in the shop are usually a bit bigger. But like a nice small bait also works very well sometimes. So, oh, slippery. I'm just going to go through with the hook. The important thing about white mussel is the, the juices and the guts there. That's the, the thing that the fish will always eat first. So you want your hook to be buried in that basically. We just get a couple of wines on here. Ooh, what's happening with this thing? Okay. See, I'm just using my fingers and the cotton to wind it up the line so it becomes like a little noodle. Honestly, that's one of my favorite baits, just like that, nothing different. You can catch just anything on this here. Very nice in the surf as well, but just for a little bit of extra, I'm going to lay this prawn. You can add a couple prawns if you want, whatever you want to do is fine. The fish tend to eat it pretty flat out, so I like one. Just simple, neat. You can see that hook stays nice and proud. One of my favorite baits. Actually caught quite a few cob on this in the sea as well. session here at Shelly. Quite a fun day. There's a lot of bites but a lot of small fish. Um, one or two nice ones in between size. Uh, 
high school just said they are beast. Blacktail and some other bites. There's a lot of guys fishing. Everyone but a couple of them. So yeah, it's good fun. You have got quite a few yourself, eh? Yeah. Um, up on seven Palu. Red bait, okay. I think between us we close to 15 colour for the day. So black tail and other things. Overall, yeah, like a fun scratching the rocks again. See you guys soon.